Tonight, new details about the Israeli operation that killed the mastermind of the October 7th terror attack. The Israeli military released this footage, claiming to show the moment a tank opened fire, ending the life of Yahya Sinwar. The culmination of an hours-long battle on Wednesday, in which the IDF says grenades were thrown from Sinwar's direction at Israeli soldiers. One soldier was seriously wounded and concluded with the leader of Hamas cornered, wounded and alone. President Biden in Germany today hoping the moment marks a turning point. Do you think there's a road to peace there? It's going to be harder, it's going to be difficult. Hamas has yet to name a successor. Israeli terrorism and intelligence expert Yoram Schweitzer believes Sinwar's brother Mohammed, seen in this video released by the Israeli military, will carry on with his brutality. Unless we find his brother and kill him too, I think we will encounter the same policy. So you don't think this is going to change Hamas's course? Not in Gaza, not immediately. Hopefully he won't take revenge from the hostages, uh, but we'll have to see. Is that a concern that he could? It's a concern. Tonight, there's also concern for 400,000 Palestinians trapped in northern Gaza. This week, the U.S. gave Israel 30 days to improve the humanitarian situation. The U.S. ambassador to the United Nations warning that a policy of starvation would not be acceptable. Secretary Blinken arrives in the region next week. He hopes to convince the Israeli prime minister to stop the war in Gaza and begin serious considerations about what comes next. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.